Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this month's edition of Fulton First Mayor's Minutes. Happy to bring you some city updates. I'd like to start off by congratulating Chief Craig Westbrook on his over 21 years of service here at the city of Fulton. Chief Westbrook has recently retired and moved on to other job opportunities, and we wish him a great deal of success and thank him for all of his years of service here at the city of Fulton. He did a great job as chief and he'll do a great job in his future endeavors. As a result, we recently promoted uh, Chief Mike Curtis. Chief Curtis was, uh, prior to this new appointment, was the deputy chief. He has served over 20 years in the police department and he is going to make an amazing police chief here in the city of Fulton. He has some great ideas. He is already starting on a few of his initiatives and has a few details and um, programs underway already. So we're very excited to welcome Chief Mike Curtis um, in his new role and wish him well. As a result of that, we have just recently appointed a new deputy chief to the, uh, to the role and uh, we are, we'll have a new deputy chief Dempsey who will serve second in command in the police department. He has been with the police department for some time now, has a great deal of passion for the community, having grown up here, and he will serve the city well in this new role. So we wish him a congratulations and much success in his new role. At the last Common Council meeting this week, we awarded the bid for the 481 project. So we will start digging up 481 and the construction will begin here in just a few weeks. This is a phased project. We will work right up until the winter weather doesn't allow us to work. And then we will pick it up again when the asphalt uh, companies open back up in the spring and we'll finish the project in the spring. So we are slated to start uh, disrupting 481 a little bit um, and starting the construction. Again, as a reminder, the project at this, to this magnitude, to this extent, has not been done in over 35 years. And what, by that, I mean we're digging down, we're going down, and we're fixing the infrastructure. We're fixing the uh, drainage, the manholes, we're fixing the catch basins, the curbing, sidewalks, um, anywhere where there was curb cuts that shouldn't be or curb cuts that should be, so on and so forth. And then um, by the end of the project, once we have all of that done, we're going to put in some um, trees and some other uh, material that makes it aesthetically pleasing, less maintenance, but also helps with some of that water runoff. So when we do that, the project will then, once all those steps are completed, then we can pave it, stripe it, and make it look uh, beautiful. So that will be between now, September of 2022, and spring of 2023. So be on the lookout for the signs, for the crews that'll be out there. And uh, it's gonna be a lengthy project, but one that we're all gonna benefit from here in the very near future. I know it's been a long time coming and we're gonna do it right. And we're gonna make it so that the project lasts for years to come. So thank you for your patience in advance and thank you for uh, working with us to make this project come to fruition. Coming up in October is our annual fall festival. We're excited about all the opportunities. We have well over 100 vendors who are participating and the special events committee is doing amazing work once again to bring that uh, to the community. So I hope you, hope you can come out and enjoy it. We're looking forward to having that um, here in the community. On September 16th, we are working with the Veterans Council and the local veterans groups to bring a POW MIA 9-11 memorial service uh, right here across from the uh, City Hall at, at Veterans Park. And that'll be at 6.30 p.m. on Friday the 16th. So we hope you can come out and uh, share in that moment and share in that experience. Our veterans groups are amazing and they always bring such quality events and such quality opportunities for us to pay tribute and honor to those men and women who serve our country and who have made the ultimate sacrifice. So September 16th, 6.30 p.m. Veterans Park across from the, uh, City Hall. Hope to see you there. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to bringing you these updates on the regular. We'll talk to you soon.